welcome to Brent Youth Radio. My name is Samaya Anwar and I have a very special guest with me today. It's Vaughan Bailey, who is this year's Mr. England. How are you doing, Vaughan? I'm good, thank you. How are you doing? I'm good. So, right, should we just jump straight into those questions? Let's do it. So, tell me, how are you going to be using your title to help the youth? Well, um, right now, um, I'm involved in various charities. Um, so, you know, I want to be using my title in, in a positive way to give back to the youth and to the community and just uh, develop for myself, really. Right, now, um, clearly motivating the youth is a great priority of yours. Right. And having taken your, your brother in at the age of 18, how did you mentor him to avoid him experiencing the same struggles you did? You know, um, let's try to educate him, really, you know, let him know I mean, he's seen some of the struggles that I went through, so me just, uh, you know, telling him kind of things that what I went through that he could avoid, you know, friends, socialising, um, where he should hang out. I mean, obviously, essentially he's got to find that out for himself, because most of us learn better through experience, but I just tried to, you know, give him just a little piece of my knowledge that I know to help him out. Oh, that's good. Now, you've got a lot coming up, obviously, it's going to be a busy year, and one thing you're doing is a 13 and a mile, a 13 mile run for Birmingham's Children Hospital. So tell me, um, what is specially about Birmingham's Ch Children Hospital made you want to give your support? Well, you know, being born and raised from Birmingham, you know, I just felt it's only right to, uh, first of all, start off doing something from my city. Mm -hmm. um, the children's hospital was important for me um, because my ex, she passed away um, with a blocked artery in her heart. Okay. Yeah, so um, the department that I'm doing with the Birmingham Children's Hospital is um, with heart conditions. So it was very important for me to really be involved in something like that to dedicate to her and, and, and really educate others about and learn more, more about it myself really. After the sporting, you went into modelling. How did that all start? Um, well, my friends have always told me, you know, I should go into modelling, go into, go into modelling. And modelling really wasn't something I had ever really thought about doing. I've always been on the basketball path. Um, you know, my, but my friends insisted, and I've got a lot of friends that were doing modelling. They felt that, you know, um, I had the right height and I had like, you know, an athletic physique and. Um, a commercial look. Yeah. So after a while I thought about it and decided to do it. And when I when I got into it I just decided to do my research really, just learning as much as I could about the industry, um, learning about the different kind of poses, modeling, uh, the, the styles of modeling, um, and, and how the industry works really and just dive right into it. Would you say um, in any way there were similarities between basketball and modeling? Yeah, um, I'd say so. Um, you know, with the both, it's very competitive. Yeah. You know, at any point, your spot can be taken. Um, at any point, you can go from being the best to the worst, or the worst to the best. Right, so after, of course, becoming Mr. England, you've got another beauty pageant coming up, which is the Worldwide Manhunt. Right. So, can you tell me what this is? Um, well, Manhunt is the same as Mr. World, which I'll also be in as well. Uh, Manhunt is a international uh, beauty pageant so I'll be representing England um, going against various countries Spain you know Italy France um, Barbados all the countries um, so it's the same thing and um, yeah I mean we'll be it'll be held in Taiwan which will be on the 10th of November to the 22nd and we do a lot of traveling and uh, different events um, yeah so I'm really looking forward to that brilliant and because, I mean, of course, you are a model, you do look good. But I reckon <laughs> one thing which really won the judges over was, you know, how passionate you are about helping the youth and not leaving what you've got back behind. So it is a lot, really, about your personality as well. Yeah, definitely. I mean, um, being Mr. England is not just about looks or a body. It's definitely about your personality because essentially you are a role model, you're an ambassador for England so you've, you've got to portray yourself right, I mean I've got to be very careful now of the things that I say and the things that I do, um, how, how I present myself because you know to a lot of people 
I'm seen as a role model, so I've got to present myself well. So anyone that is potentially Mr. England or anything like that has to be um, focused and, and, and you know be in the right place mentally as well. Right now, I'm going for the Miss Galaxy UK pageant. Is there any advice you want to give me? Wow, that's 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 great news. Thank you. Um, well, the advice. Well, I better turn the presenting and ask you some questions. Yeah, go on. Um, so, what, what made you get into the competition? Well, I wished to get into the competition to, again like you, not to promote the message about motivating the youth as such, but because I also do Ambassador for Empower, I wanted to really show that there is a great um, need to portray the youth in a positive light in this country. Okay. Did I do alright? That was that was a great answer. I'm more used to asking the questions, so that one got me by surprise. Yeah, I mean, you, you've got to get ready because those are the kind of questions yeah. going to ask you. I'm ready for ask. the next one, girl. Ready for the next yeah. one? Okay, so I'm a judge right now. Okay. I'm at the competition. What do you feel that you can do being Miss Galaxy? As Miss Galaxy, I want to put more light upon the image of the youth, give them a better image. Wow. But also as Miss Galaxy, I don't just want to use that title and do nothing for a year. I want to go and help charities, in particular St Mary's Hospital, where I was born. And I was born premature, actually. So there's a lot of need to put more, more light and spotlight on the intensive care unit. So do as much as I can for that, fundraising, use the title in a positive light. Well, I'll tell you right now, if you had said that to me and I was a judge, no one else would even be come close. Oh, brilliant. So I've got nothing to worry about got so nothing far. nothing to worry about. Oh, thank you. I'm waiting pretty much all interview to ask you this question. Okay. Now you've got to pretend that I'm one of the judges. Okay, okay. I'm bringing it, I'm bringing it. What do we need to change in the world? What do we need to change? Mm. Wow, there's a lot of things we need to change. Um, that kind of threw me off. Did it? Yeah, but I'm, I'm ready, I'm I'm ready for whatever to, though. I'm trying to check if you're going to go for the world peace. I mean, I can, I can, I can go with the world peace and I can yeah. say that, but i got to come with something real. Yeah, I want, I want you to give me something a bit yeah. different, because we've heard that answer before. Yeah. God. I mean, something that I feel we need to change is the segregation. Yeah. You know, um, there's, a, there's a huge segrega segregation mm -hmm. with, uh, you know, the rich and yeah. the poor and everything like that. Well, it has been a pleasure meeting you. Ah, before we end this, yeah. Um, my sponsors. Any, any. I just wanted to oh, make throw out there. Um, any sponsors that you know would want to sponsor me or would like to be sponsored. Um, to yeah, get at me. So what is that sponsorship? Hmm? You can get through it for the website. So give it, give us that website again. Um, VaughnBailey.com. Brilliant. Yeah. Right. Well, you better watch out for Mr. and Mrs. Wells. Yes. Coming soon. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure.